Hey gang, I loved cooking state dinners for the Clintons for years, and we are going to take a look at them at the U.S. Presidential Culinary Museum on this edition of Inside the President's Cabinet. Uh, we were so honored during the Clinton campaign for Hillary Clinton to receive one of the woman cards and to have them come here at the Presidential Culinary Museum and film live. Uh, what an honor. And the lady was a little scared, you know, she wanted to know what I was going to say and I kind of said, I have no idea, but don't worry. I've been working with the past five presidents for 25 years. Uh, we do have on display here, though, one of the woman cards and uh, very interesting to see. Uh, many times people would say, you know, she's trying to play the woman card. And I actually would get my woman card out of my, it was a little plastic credit card out of my wallet. Uh, for Thanksgiving, it was always an exciting time up at the Camp David Presidential Resort to host the whole Clinton family coming up to Camp David. And uh, very specific for Thanksgiving to celebrate the holiday, naturally with pumpkin pie and all the other things you would expect, and pecan pie, and we'd have apple pie and cherry pie and things like that. But the Clintons have a very specific way of doing the turkey, and it's in a tinfoil tent with toothpicks, and the entire turkey has to be covered with bacon, and then we surround it and crimp it, and it kind of steams inside of a tinfoil tent. Uh, be sure to notice the Old South sweet pickled watermelon rind here. This was one of the landmines that I was warned about repeatedly. Do not ever, ever, never, ever, never, Chef Marty, make any kind of recipe from anyone, I don't care if it's even out of Southern Living Magazine, of pickled watermelon rind. Just go to the store and purchase Old South brand. It's the whole Clinton family favorite. Do you feel denigrated to do that, to go out and buy a glass jar item for the first family? And I said, no, of course not. If that's what makes them happy, it doesn't matter to me. I mean, it's all about making the family happy. Uh, so actually, uh, you know, if one of the family members comes up to you with a toothpick and says, uh, hey, who told you about this uh, watermelon rod? and you say, well, it's Old South brand. Um, we actually bought that in the glass jar. And their response is, well, that's fantastic. And, and so the president and everybody just loved that. And the president would often come into the kitchen and scare the heck out of you. And sometimes would sit there and talk with me for 30 to 45 minutes in the kitchen. Uh, down here, I would like to point out Bill's favorite is actually a banana. And so I know everybody thought his favorite was a Big Mac, but uh, the loves bananas. And I still hold the record for the most bananas in one day, eight bananas in one day. So uh, Hillary's favorite fruit um, is a mango. And very neat, one night I come out and said, oh, first lady, I made a vinaigrette for you, a mango vinaigrette for your salad tonight. And she said, oh, wow, Marty, I've had everything that you could ever imagine at every rubber chicken circuit dinner including the raspberry vinaigrette and you know I've never heard of a mango vinaigrette wow you made that for me I was like yes ma'am I did and of course the president was over there just drumming his fingers that's very nice Marty did you make anything especially for me the president of the United States and I said yes I did sorry I made a banana vinaigrette and I reached back behind me and he's awesome ah, could have sworn tonight was the night, Marty. You were going to be fired tonight. I could have. I said, well, Mr. President, just because I'm out here talking with you all this time, they're already taking bets in the kitchen. So um, they were. People were always betting on me. They always said he has too much to say. He's out there chatting up the president. And um, when people would look at firing me, they were quickly warned, like, don't do that. They actually love him. So uh, not a good idea. Um, but yeah, this is how I made the recipes available on our website. You'll notice the banana vinaigrette for President Clinton and the mango vinaigrette for Secretary Clinton. The applesauce and scrambled eggs incident was one day when Chelsea was sick. Um, Hillary asked, could I please just get on the dumbwaiter some of the eggs and I'm going to crack them up myself and serve scrambled eggs with applesauce. I know how to cook. So no, I would not like a ham and cheese omelet. <laughs> and uh, some of the staff couldn't believe that the First Lady of the United States knew how to cook. So 
Um, we've seen these past couple of first ladies, starting with Hillary Clinton and moving into Laura Bush and then Michelle and of course Melania. These ladies do know how to cook. They're modern women. A popular favorite of the Clintons was Mountain Valley Spring Water. And actually we started serving um, San Pellegrino and I would often buy Perrier to have, try to have a really classy, you know, thing. And But they did say one day, oh gosh, we have bottled water from where we're from in Arkansas. It's called Mountain Valley Spring Water. And since we're paying for the food, could we get our favorite water? It comes in a bottle. Now remember, uh, this is pre-bottled water on Earth, okay? So at the time, that's pretty much what we had with San Pellegrino, and we had, of course, Perrier, and then what we did was bring into every room and to any opportunity where we could put water at each place setting, okay? Even in the Situation Room, Mountain Valley Spring Water. So this is a very famous water from Arkansas that the Clintons love. Thank you guys so much again for joining us for Inside the President's Cabinet here at the United States Presidential Culinary Museum. See you next episode.